Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then hi, hello, welcome to my channel. This video is so, 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 so overdue. I haven't been to the charity shops in literally forever, apart from like the ones on my high road, but they are... They're not very good. I just got back from Cornwall and we went to the charity shops in Cornwall because I'd heard quite good things about them. I didn't get my hopes up because obviously when you go charity, shop it, charity shopping it literally is just luck. Sometimes you'll find really good bits and other times you'll find nothing. Luckily we were actually quite lucky on this trip. I recorded a little bit of me thrifting so I'll insert that and obviously there'll be a try and haul at the end. But before we do make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Also follow my Instagram it's just at SorrelWJ the same as my YouTube. And yeah I really hope you enjoy this video. I found this really nice pair of shorts but they're just too long on me like these this is rolled up well they are men's trousers to be fair but yeah so long the colour is really nice and the material is actually really really nice um, but yeah they're just a bit too long which is a shame because I really like them but we're gonna leave these. The men's section in this British chart foundation is so much better than the women's. Like so, so much better. What you got? The shorts. Quite nice to be fair, nice colour. Yeah. And they feel the material is quite nice. Jed's getting this jacket which I actually found for him, so I'm gonna borrow. And this jacket as I found. And this jacket. Straight back out. Which is like greenish, showing up brown on hair. It's like khaki-ish. They suit you, not me. Bobby. What's that black cap? No. Play my fire girl. What's this black one there? No. No. Where are those? We have pajamas. I actually have Jess thrifted bits here with me too, so for all of those boyfriends in the back. I've got you, I'll start off with my stuff and then we'll move on to Jed. So the first thing are these gorgeous shorts. These are originally from Nex and I believe they're vintage because my sister has something from my nan from Nex which has the same um, tag in it. And these were only £3.50. Literally the condition of these is amazing. They literally look brand new. The best thing about these is as well, I didn't even try them on because there was no change in room so I was like right if they don't fit I'll sell them then you cost me £3.50. I can probably make a little bit of profit on them anyway. I tried them on when I got back and I honestly fit me like a glove. Like why are clothes not made like these nowadays? I find that with clothes a lot. Like vintage stuff fits so much better than the newer stuff these days. And it is so, so annoying. Like these honestly fit so nice on the waist and then also just so nice on the legs. This is what I love about charity shopping. I literally have the most gorgeous pair of shorts but only three pound. 50. I also got another pair of shorts even though summer is literally over in like 20 something days. These are from British Red Cross and these were £1.99. I love the style of like sports shorts but like dressed up. I literally love it so maybe with like a blazer something like that. I just love that look. So these are Patrick I think it's called. That is what Jet told me which is like a little sports brand. Just like a grey colour. I have a drawstring here. But I'm, I'm excited to work these into my wardrobe and style them. I actually don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. Saying that, I have some football ones, not in my wardrobe, but in my football bag that I used to play football in, but you can like vaguely tell they're football ones. So yeah, one ninety nine for these. The next piece I thrifted is this Patagonia polo. So Jed actually found this for me in the men's section, because he always looks in the men's section. I always look in the women's section, and then I kind of look in the men's after, so he'd already spotted this for me. He picked this out for me because it's a size small, or he probably would have got it for himself. They also had a blue colour, but the blue wasn't a like a nice blue colour or I would have got both. I just really like the small logo, like how it doesn't have Patagonia or anything like that written on it. And of course it is my favourite colour, lilac. I have a Carhartt t-shirt in lilac, I have a little Adidas tank top in lilac, I have another top in lilac. I just love lilac so I couldn't say no to this. I think this was £2.50 or something like £2.98 which is obviously 
is not bad at all for like Patagonia as well, which is like obviously a branded top. Yeah, I've got three things for under £10, which I think is so, so good. I don't actually have a polo in my wardrobe. So again, I'm so excited to style this. I need to like look around for some inspiration. Again, this is in mint condition. So yeah, really, really, really pleased with that. Now on to Jed stuff. Jed actually got some really, really nice pieces as well. The first one Jed got, I actually picked out for him because we always pick stuff out for each other and show each other stuff in charity shops. So it is just this little gelée because I know he loves a good gelée. He actually has another gelée very similar which I think is reversible and a lighter colour. But it also has like this on the reversible side. This is actually from the women's section. I don't think Jed would have ever thought of looking in a women's section before. I picked this out for him because he was like, that's women's, it's not going to fit me. I was like, just because it's women's doesn't mean it's not going to fit. It actually has a zip where a hood should have been, but I doubt he would have worn a hood anyway. So this is from British Red Cross. And yeah, this was £2.50. These actually look really good on him. Not too sure how they look on me. But yeah, I am going to try style it. Do you mind? Um, so yeah, that is Jed's first item. Jed also picked up a pair of shorts. And they're just these grey ones. These are from Premium Man. They're a really nice pair of shorts. Got elasticated waist. These are going to look really nice paired with like, some of the bits he already has in his wardrobe. These were £1.99 or £2.50, I think. Because I remember looking at the price and being like, oh my god, wow, that's so cheap for a pair of shorts. Yeah, again, the condition of these, like, perfect condition. I love looking in the men's section for, like, trousers, jeans, shorts, because obviously they do your waist to 28. Didn't find any on this occasion. I tried a pair on a bit too long. But yeah, always look in the men's section. And the last thing Jed got, this is also from British Red Cross, I think, is this big, like, corduroy. It's kind of, like, in between a green and a grey. Yeah, it's just, like, a corduroy um, coat. I know you forgot what it was called then. And this is from EYM Pure Classics. Not really too sure. But yeah, it's just like fleecy on the inside here and then just like normal coat there. Got a little pocket here as well on the inside. Really, really handy. Yeah, this is really, really thick. Like when he gave it to me, I was like, try it on. I didn't realise how thick it was. Like this is a warm winter coat. And I know he's so pleased with this. I think he, this was £3.50. So again, Jed got all three pieces for under £10 which is so good. In total, Jed and I got six items under £20, which I think is just crazy. And these are pieces that probably not many other people are gonna have. Like you're probably not gonna run into someone like wearing the same shorts or the same coat as you. I've actually said to Jed that we should do a charity shop trip like once a month, which he's agreed to like somewhere new on like one pound sales where this little gem is from. I really hope this video has inspired you guys to go to your local charity shops. And of course, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.